In this video, we are going to learn about applications of Cayley Hamilton theorem. So here we will learn one application. So we will find the inverse of matrix using Cayley Hamilton theorem. And the matrix I am going to take as a simple matrix. I'm going to take one, two, three, four, and I'm going to find the inverse of this matrix using the Cayley Hamilton theorem. There are already many methods to find the inverse of a matrix, but now we are going to use the Cayley Hamilton theorem. So we know that we will first write the characteristic polynomial or characteristic equation of this matrix, which is given by lambda square minus trace of the matrix times lambda plus determinant is equal to zero. So here the characteristic equation of this matrix is lambda square minus the trace of this matrix is one and four. The addition of one and four is five. So it is trace is five. This minus sign comes from the formula lambda plus the determinant of this matrix comes out to be four minus six. So the determinant is how much? The determinant is minus two is equal to zero. Okay. So now uh, this means that the characteristic equation is simply given by lambda square minus five lambda minus two is equal to zero. This is a characteristic equation. So what do we know by Cayley Hamilton theorem? by Cayley Hamilton theorem, we know that this matrix A satisfies this characteristic equation. So means wherever I, there is lambda, I can just put A. So this means A square minus five times A minus two times to insert an identity matrix here, two times identity matrix will give me which matrix it will give me the zero matrix. So this dark zero is the zero matrix zero, 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 zero. Then I will say that I will pre multiply by A inverse both the sides. Both the sides we will pre multiply by A inverse. So I will have A inverse times A square minus 5 A inverse. Every term I'm going to multiply by A inverse minus 2 times A inverse into identity is equal to A inverse into the zero matrix. So I multiplied A inverse to the entire equation from the left side. And this we know that A inverse A square can be written as A into A minus five A inverse into A a matrix multiplied by its inverse gives you identity matrix. So this is the identity matrix minus and any matrix multiply by the identity matrix will give you the same matrix. So that will be how much that will be just two into a inverse is equal to any matrix multiplied by a zero matrix will again give me a zero matrix, right? And now let us simplify this. What is a inverse multiplied by a again, the same logic that I use here. What is a inverse multiplied by a a inverse multiplied by a is the identity matrix into a minus five times identity matrix is minus two a inverse is equal to the zero matrix. So this means that identity matrix multiplied by a will again give me the matrix a itself. Any matrix multiplied by identity matrix gives you the same matrix. So a minus five i is equal to this 2a inverse, I'm going to send it on that side. So that will become 2a inverse. So I'm getting a inverse is equal to 1 by 2. This 2 I'm dividing on the left hand side into a minus 5i. So I've got the formula for a inverse. This is called as formula for a inverse. And therefore, A inverse is equal to half into A. The matrix A was 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 5 
times identity matrix. Identity matrix is 1001. So this is equal to A inverse half into 1, 2, 3, 4 matrix minus 5, 0, 0, 5. So A inverse is half of 1 minus 5 is minus 4, 2, 3, 4 minus 5 is minus 1. So this becomes the inverse of the matrix and we have used we have used the Cayley Hamilton theorem to find this inverse.